Hello and welcome back. It's kind of a, a weird week how I ended up on the last one as well. Got a lot of stuff to get done this week. Just scrapped up and gave the birds some scraps and some sweet corn from last night. They loving that. It's gonna be a big week of moving tractors around, picking stuff in the garden. A lot of stuff's coming too. I got my egg basket here right now, my one big one, because I think I have some zucchini and stuff like that starting to get ready in the garden. And I want to pick those early in the morning here before they become eight foot monsters by the afternoon. Um, my drying beans kind of got a little wet last night. So I'm hoping to dump off the water here, get those back to normal. But yeah, let's go see if we can find some zucchini, cucumbers, maybe some squash. I don't think there's any squash yet, but cucumbers and zucchini. Let's see if we got any. Pretty slowly starting to get weeds done. I got these first two rows here of cucumbers and some squash. I got them kind of down to here somewhere and down to here somewhere. I still have that edge to go and down that edge to go. I'm gonna leave that other side there, but big thing is pulling the weeds. Video cut out of me, but chickens should be happy. I think there are gonna be about two loads of weeds to eat today. Gotta love it. Sun's out, it's not too hot, a little sticky. Back out in the garden, did a little morning watering of a couple of these peppers and things that are in pots. I picked some coriander yesterday off of my cilantro that's seeded and potted out. A couple of these herbs need to definitely get picked um, and dried and something similar to that. Goal is to pick some peppers today. It looks like some of my Carolina Reapers and some of my hotter peppers look like they might be getting ready back there. But a lot of tomatoes got to get pulled off today. Got a couple of pails here. Might have some mini me helpers helping me today. But kind of the bigger news in the garden today is I decided to pull some of my potatoes yesterday and today. I'm going to sit outside for the night, but here's some Yukon that I pulled. Not really big. These, I believe, are russets or something similar to that. But back here, these are my red potatoes that I picked. I pulled one more today just to see where I was at. Um, they're looking pretty good. By far, this end of the garden, definitely producing the best. This is four, yeah, four mounds of potatoes. Pulled in my purple potatoes. Purples did really, really well this year for some reason. I don't know why. I just pulled them these four right here. But I believe I have this whole row here of purple all the way around. So if everything else keeps looking like that, I'm gonna have a lot of purple potatoes to eat. But yeah, I'm gonna go through here and try to find some cucumbers as well. And just kind of pick it some stuff. Maybe trying to bring some veggies and things like that to the market today. Trying to diversify a little bit, but let's see what we can get done. See what we can get picked. Over at the squash, cucumber, pumpkin, patch, whatever you want to call it. After a good picking I want, or picking of the weeds, I kind of want to see how everything's looking. Um, overall, nothing's looking too bad. Looks like I do have one zucchini down here I got to pick. A um, couple more coming in, it looks like here. Next couple days, probably starting to get ready for a lot of these. Once the zucchini starts going, it's gonna go quick. But you can see a lot of things are starting to flower out, which is good. Bees are definitely happy. You know when I was picking weeds uh, earlier in the week, the bees were all over out here. But gonna try to walk through this a little bit, see how everything's going and doing. It looks like a lot of the squash is starting to squash up on me. I'm hoping to find some cucumbers today. I tried, well there's a melon or something coming in there, another squash. But just trying to get some stuff ready to go. Hoping things start to produce here kicking in so I can start my own pickling of my own stuff. Of cucumbers and things like that. And just kind of start getting ready for this fall. Maybe I'll have a stand at the end of the road trying to get some squash and stuff sold. But yeah, that's kind of just where we're at right now of just walking through, checking on everything. Make sure everything doesn't look too wilted or nasty looking. See if there's a cucumber too along the way. Cucumbers look a little worse for wear. I might have to try to get some water on these ones. These ones were picked heavily. The weeds are pretty thick on this end. There's one cucumber. Little guy growing. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, these might really need to get watered. But yeah, everything else looks okay. I mean, probably not setting any world records this year. Just trying something new. We used to have a pumpkin patch, squash patch about this size before in the past. And I just kind of decided to bring it back. Of everything in the garden that actually grew this year, this is about the only thing that grew out here. 
everything here was all corn that's all dead there is some beans along those weeds i don't think i'm going to pick those weeds because i don't think it's really going to be worth it in the long run if i would have did it earlier probably would have got some return on the investment but look how where we're at let's see if there's any pumpkins down here though i thought i saw a couple starting to pumpkin up on me maybe i was just thinking to myself a lot of buds waiting to get flowered here is what i'm starting to really see maybe there's none down here well well oh well well i guess hopefully find something for you but not really seeing any pumpkins starting oh there's one see there's a guy down there so good to see all the flowers opening up here hopefully get a couple nice days again here this week to let them really start growing and kicking off but overall weeding looks good i gotta mow this edge over here to make it look a little nicer but overall i think these things are perfectly timed to start growing put on some energy and producing some squash pumpkins and things there's a couple more down here and there so yeah so hopefully we get something out of this patch i don't know how many we'll get or not but i gotta go try to pick some tomatoes maybe find some more cucumbers along that edge some cucumbers in the garden can of see what we can fill up for some pails also i gotta show you an update on the garlic and shallot situation and some of the beans more to come like i said a little earlier i got my garlic kind of all squared away so all the stuff back here in the netting and bags those are all my seed garlic for next year everything in here is all bunches and i guess you can't really see in the bottom right now but in the bottom there's some seed garlic i'm gonna try to sell as well if we come over here this is my dutch shallot pile this is my french shallot pile those are my gris ones gris ones didn't grow real great dutch grew okay i think i'm gonna try to uh bring some garlic with tonight to try to sell at a market i was smart and every single one of these rubber bands means a color it's like these green ones mean mix blue goes with this bag of garlic here so if i end up not selling these i can put them all back together with that variety and same with these yellows the yellows are my only soft necks that i had enough of to be able to put in to a market to sell and then these were my red potatoes that i mentioned earlier that i picked the day before there's enough in there and then if we come over some of my beans that were dried we got those kind of taken out and yeah so that's gonna be the goal for this week here is we're gonna bring some garlic try to sell some garlic see what happens maybe just wants to go for a ride up here but sadly the door's closed and i gotta get some work done so fun time's over but yeah that's the haul this year on garlic and shallots um, I don't think I'm going to purchase any more this year. I think I have enough for seed stock for next year. And at this point, I'm, I'm sufficient. So, why get more? I think this rest of these smaller ones down here, I'm going to try to make some minced garlic or some garlic powder out of. So, I've got some work to do, but it's going to get done at some point. So, this is a new bunch of items I'm trying to bring into market this week. We got some tomatoes here, some cherries, some bigger ones. I brought some zucchini, a couple different types of potatoes garlic shallot some seed garlic in the back just trying some new stuff bring it out might as well try it the last time and kind of see what happens and like always i'll still have maple syrup and honey but we'll kind of go from there so we're back a couple days later from that um market we did over in hutch brought some produce too overall my produce did pretty well sold some garlic sold some peppers or not peppers sold some tomatoes um potatoes and things like that overall did pretty well i thought um, that was a couple days ago, flash forward, it's been kind of a crazy week, bouncing around, getting some stuff done. Now we're into the weekend again. Um, today's Sunday, I decided that I'm going to tinker around a little bit on my RC. We're going to change out this seat. There's a couple pieces, we're going to go up to the scrap pile and kind of piece out some things, try to find some missing pieces. I'm going to change this seat here out with more of a style that's back here on my brother's WC. You'll see there, hopefully a little bit of change. Hopefully, by the end of maybe this video, if not next week, 
RC is running again. I have a carb kit and a carburetor sitting on my workbench that hopefully gonna try to get that together today too. Um, gas tanks somewhat clean. Gotta try to weld up a couple spots around the lip of it. I'll show you on that tank a little later, but this lip right here is somebody crushed. So it's kind of needs some work. Um, and kind of uh, the big big thing of the weekend is I didn't get any video of it, um, but did go. We went down to Albert City, Iowa this past weekend uh, to the Gathering of the Orange. Pretty impressive. A lot of stuff down there. It's pretty dang cool. But kind of what I, I started to realize from going there and the Orange Spectacular again this year, um, RC wise, I think I only saw. Two maybe at Hutch, two or three, and then down at Albert City I only saw one. So I'm kind of more inclined to maybe try to get this thing working, and maybe, maybe just maybe, try to work on this thing either this fall or next spring. Kind of be my one to get done. Maybe bring just some shows next year. Um, also my War B, so the one with the wide fenders and high um, air cleaner tube whatever you want to call it um i've only seen really one or two of those around at shows as well so i might I, I still have that planned as my winter project but we're gonna kind of go from there but yeah my only worry about today is it's been raining almost non-stop the past couple days off and on and i thought news or radio or somebody was talking yesterday almost an inch or two of water by the end of the day today so I'm slightly concerned that I'm going to be laying in some mud up on my parts tractor to try and take in some stuff apart. But before I get that far, I want to take all the stuff apart in the shed where I know it's dry, where it's kind of working, and kind of go from there. So yeah, let's see what we can get done today. Maybe we put together by the end of the week. Maybe we'll be driving around by the end of the week. Who knows? Let's find out. So here we are, seats off. I'll go show you on the other one. I think I'm going to try to take out this battery box too. But if you look underneath here, I'm missing a plate that goes right there. I have one up on my parts hill, so that's where I'm gonna go up for a walk and go see what I can get off of that. So grabbing a couple wrenches that I think I need, a couple sockets, the impact. I'll show you the seat that I just took off. Seats here, I'm looking for a backrest, so the backrest can come off here and sit. But if we come over to this one, pull the seat off, Gonna put this other seat back on it switch them i think i might try to take off this plate too on up over there and see if there's a better looking one than the one i have and then i think i might be taking off my cultivator lift off of this one to go put it on that rc and this battery box i believe is coming off too so let's see everything get done and let's go play in the mud so we talk about our parts still we got kind of junk lane everywhere from implements to a couple crawlers I have almost every 100-ish series cultivators. I have a 200, 400, 500. Um, kind of playing around with that. Why I need them, I really don't. But here's what we're on the hunt for. I got a pair of WCs and a B. That's my parts ones. So we're going to dig in. Hey, hey, look. Right ahead of the game. This one's got a little repair in needing, but that'll work for what I want it. There's a better plate there. And I guess let's start uh, parting and see if we can find a plate. So we found a plate. Now fun begins. See how much liquid runs out, I guess. Bolts are actually feeling pretty loose. Just initially. That one's stuck. That one's tight, but let's kind of see what happens here and pull them off.
bolts are definitely a little dirty, but nothing like grease and things like that from probably the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, you name it. It was working it. Tail so it looks like she got parked. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think this one's had a little bit of a interesting story. I think there's some stuff that's been changed on it. Different fenders, different gas tanks, different things like that. But you know what? Not a bad little tractor. Definitely nice to have it around for parts and to be able to use it for things like that. Let's see if it comes off. It does, and look at that, there's a nest in it. Oh, somebody's gonna be mad when they come home and the bottom door's open. But, I got the plate I need. It's a little dirty, a little smelly, but it'll work for what I need. Bring her back and maybe clean her up a little bit before I try to put her on. So we got the seats swapped over, new seats on it, doesn't look too bad I understand it's not painted I'm still gonna look for a backrest at some point but also digging through my pile of scrap up there I got some manifolds and some cultivator brackets I'll probably put on here too but I found a, a brake handle or a brake extender handle piece for the right side that I put actually on this one now um, I think next task is gonna be that battery box flipping that around and then maybe if I get real crazy today this belt pulley up here is actually the wrong size belt pulley to be on here. So long story short, I think you gotta try to play around with that, maybe take that off today, but kind of playing around and I guess let's see what happens and see what we can get done. But it's time for lunch. As you can see again, we got some more rain again, which is okay, I guess. But uh, back up to the parts hill, gotta go take a picture of a couple things and look at some stuff. But the RC's coming along, hopefully get that cultivator lift on it today. I switched battery boxes. I guess we'll see how muddy the birds are today. Oh yeah, they got a little water too. All the ducks and geese are a little happy today. But yeah, it's kind of a bummer. I was gonna try to pull a lot more potatoes this week, but with this rain, it's not gonna be a good combination. Everything's gonna be sticky and muddy. So that kind of sucks, but I guess let's go check out the scrap pile, see if I can find what I'm looking for. Um, I got a couple cultivator brackets. I think I'm going to try to put on that RC as well. Um, but also, I'm trying to look up, maybe switch a starter out on it and try and do some wiring today. See if I can electrocute myself, see how bad it goes. But let's go see what we can find. So the first thing I'm going to grab is I'm going to grab that pair there. This is the front brackets for the cultivator. I'm going to grab that one there. It's one of the rear brackets, and this one here, which is a rear bracket. These ones here, this one here is for a front bracket of a WC. This is another parking brake handle, which I put on yesterday. Or a uh, parking brake, just a regular brake handle. And this is some random joyrider seat thing. I don't know, we picked it up with a pile of scrap, extra stuff. Got a couple manifolds, some pie weights. But these are the big things I'm after today, initially. Let's go see what else I can find. Well, looking through the scrap pile up here, I was trying to look to see what the starter looked like. It's not exactly the one I need, but kind of looking out in the field, there's some turkeys out there. I'll try to get a little zoom up of them here. Maybe throw a picture in, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So good to see them rolling around. I don't see any cows out there. Our neighbor has some cows back here every once in a while, but don't look like they're out here. But sadly, I didn't find the right starter piece that I was looking for so I'm gonna have to try to make whatever I got over there work oh but yeah it's always something to do as I was walking past after my failed attempt at seeing what the starter was and cultivator parts in hand I figured I don't think you guys have ever seen any of my crawlers really in a video I know I've complained about that h3 a little bit but here are my two big boys these are my two h5s or HD5s, I should say. This one on the right here is, used, or was a bulldozer. I think it's an HD5B. I'll put the serial number on this one. This one, it's got some engine work. We gotta figure out, I don't know if it's blower seals or what. It's really blowing oil by. So, kinda gotta figure out that. These both have a Detroit 
diesel in them. They're, they're 271s, I believe. Um, big machine. This one came to us from southern Minnesota via a gentleman from South Dakota, via, I believe, from somewhere in Wisconsin. Um, yeah, she needs some work, she needs some loving, but with a lower serial number, so that's why I want to keep this one. The one over here is an HD 5G, this makes it a loader. Also, 271 diesel, picked this one kind of more locally up over in Howard Lake. Um, a year ago, last fall, that orange one was from this spring. This one's got a cracked block up on the inside up here that we gotta try to take apart sometimes, see if it's fixable or not. Um, again, I'll put the serial numbers in like the last one. But these are pretty good sized machines. Um, I don't know, I like them. Worst case scenario, if scrap ever goes up again, I got probably 14, to 15,000 pounds in that yellow one and then orange one's probably I don't know 11 to 12 but figured I was walking past might as well show you them um, this little one here is my parts h3 the track and undercarriage is blown in this one um, completely worn through in spots I guess I can come down here and try to see if I can get some video of it hopefully you can see some there they're uh pretty rough pins bushings on these h5 crawlers they're actually pretty well rollers are pretty good the rear drive sprockets aren't too bad this one as you can tell it just it's it's terrible um pretty much bought it because it was cheap again scrap goes it goes it's probably about a five to seven thousand pound machine i guess i can walk back up and show you that little h3 it's kind of sitting under a tree that one's causing me a fit but Again, here's some crawlers I got. I just figured I haven't videotaped them, really, so I'll kind of show you some videos of them. And they're nothing crazy, they're nothing special, but I guess they're mine, and worst case, scrap value comes, so. On to that RC again, for the pit stop to that H3. So this is that other H3 I was talking about. Um, got some wheel weights laying on it here, but Took the carburetor off of this one, trying to rebuild that. It's getting some gas into the engine itself, so we, we're thinking it's coming in one of two spots. The one spot where we replaced some stuff and rebuilt some stuff with this fuel pump over here when we switched stuff out. So we don't think it's leaking back through that. Put a new diaphragm on that. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. I, I think it's getting fuel up into the carburetor, the float stuck or something weird. Put fuel back into it, so. Fingers crossed we can figure that out get this thing working. Um, again, just a nice little little machine. Planning to keep this one for right now until it makes me mad again. But yeah, nice little tractor. So the next goal is going to be taking this piece off here in the middle. This big long bar across and that little pedal over there. So this is a cultivator pickup. So when you're driving along with the cultivator, you push this pedal in back here while you're driving and it'll completely lift up or lower the cultivator i'll go show you it all hooked up on my brothers here but just want to take this off it's not really worth a ton but i want to put it on my rc because i'm trying to put my rc all together of all the different um, options and different things you could put onto a wc or an rc at the time so that's pretty much all i'm trying to do with that thing right now is try to option it out and add-ons onto it. Let's go take a pick of my brother's quick here. So this is his WC hooked up with the cultivator lift on it and there's a set of cultivators on it as you can see but that's kind of how it gets hooked up in here is if we come over to this other side on the spindle drum here there is a spot down here that gets hooked to the actual cultivator itself that lowers it and raises it. So when you push that pedal in right there, there's a trip on the bottom where it trips and this whole gear here, this hook, will spin around till it locks back itself up again and that's either raising it or lowering it. So right now, this one's raised. And what I'm really trying to do is I just wanna put that option onto my WC. So let's say 
my brother takes this off or doesn't want to use a cold fitter, I find this pair, hint, hint, wink, wink, we got a parts one up on the hill, that I could be able to put it on this RC to just have some more stuff with it to play around with it. Um, since you've last seen the RC, I got the other battery box flipped over. I put this handle, brake handle piece on it here. Looking at this back here, this one here, bolted on. And then also, since you've been gone, I've switched out and put the correct belt pulley on it. It's supposed to have the smaller belt pulley, not the big belt pulley. So just little things I'm trying to get done. But I think right now I'm gonna try to switch over, put that cultivator lift on here. It's kind of dark in here, but you can kind of see it's kind of got a worm gear here into it. So I guess let's let's try to flip her over. I'm trying to decide if I want to do wiring work today or not. It looks kind of like a pain in the butt. So leaning against that right now, but I might try it. So let's see what we can get done. But we got to flip that cultivator for sure, or that cultivator lift. So after a little messing around, cultivator lift is put into the RC now. Um, got the brackets and stuff over here to put for cultivator brackets on it. I think I'm missing a side, so I got to figure that out. And I'm missing some screws to be able to put it on up in the front. But that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm trying to decide if I jump to carburetor. Trying to rebuild that again, maybe running some of this wire, or being the shed's kind of a mess. I think I'm just going to clean the shed for a little bit, wait for my dad to get home if he's bored enough and wants to work on something. If not, at least just clean the shed. But that's kind of where we are. That actually went relatively smooth today, getting everything done. Um, yeah, one less thing to do, one less project to move around. I have no clue what I'm doing with this WC yet um, of mine. I've taken the parts I want to take off of it, so that's pretty much done. But it's kind of been rainy, misty all day today, so I really can't do much out here. But figured, worked on some tractors, or worked on that RC for a little bit. I might put that pan that's sitting over there somewhere. Um, I might bolt that back to the bottom underneath it. But I think. I'm going to try to clean, hang up some wrenches, move some stuff around, get everything to start looking a little organized before stuff comes. These weird nuisance bee looking things are just a pain in the butt. But let's get to some cleaning and see what we can get done. So it's another lovely, cool morning out. Going for a walk out to the squash, zucchini, cucumber stuff. I'm um, going to try to find some cucumbers, maybe make some relish today. But the big goal of the day is I still have a whole bunch of tomatoes in the garden and in the house. I'm trying to get to make some uh, pasta sauce today. And I think I'm going to try to make some salsa. Maybe hang out with daycare kids, see if they want to try to make some stuff and see what I can make. It's definitely kind of getting real. Next couple days are all I got left before school starts. So got to get some stuff done. But yeah, let's go see if there's any cucumbers, zucchini, and stuff like that in the garden today and kind of go from there. So just like that, we're back with a pile of zucchini, cucumber, tomatoes, peppers. Time to get some stuff washed and let's start making some pasta and some salsa. So here's the haul we got from cucumbers and zucchinis. Gonna try to keep a couple of these to pickle and do things with. And the other ones we're gonna try to just sell at the market as slicers. After a day of messing around, got some things done. Um, got some of this spaghetti pasta done. Doesn't look too bad. Got some relish done. Got some just regular chunky tomatoes canned. These are some Polish pickles from earlier this week. But yeah, got some stuff canned. Some zucchini sitting in the background and don't know how much of this I'm going to sell, keep. I don't know yet, still to be determined, but just enough to have to use throughout the year. So I know we kind of had a weird week bouncing around, kind of all over and kind of doing all kinds of things. But kind of where we are right now, Equinox is getting packed up with kind of a little bit of everything and anything. So my official run of market season stuff is starting to come to an end here. Um, oh, bounced, hit myself. Um, I'm kind of done with Hutch officially on a regular basis. I'm done with Mayor on a regular basis. Um, I think there's going to be two dates in September. I'll be in Mayor at the car show. And maybe two more dates, September, October. I'll be at Hutchinson's 
market on Saturdays. Oh, there's a nuisance bee. God darn thing, get out of here. But yeah, so that being said, kind of my last two raw here is a little market up by the cabin. Um, cars full of potatoes, onions, garlic. I have cooler full of cucumbers, some squash. Oh, get out of there, buddy. Peppers, restocked honey, restocked syrup. Um, bringing some new things, some stuff I canned and pickled in the last couple weeks. Um, trying some of that white spruce syrup. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, that kind of being said, um, I don't know really what my timeline of posting more videos. I don't know if they're going to be similar to this weekly-ish or not. Um, I got school starting up here next week, so it's going to be kind of a little crazy, hectic, and winter time. But, you know, hope to keep you updated on the old Schubel Bauernhof and see how stuff goes. And, yeah, it's kind of the fun craziness of summer starting to wrap down and just the fun of it all. But, yeah, feels good. Like always, you can find us on Facebook, Shua Bauernhof. And like, share, subscribe. And until next time.